Meanwhile, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has announced his candidacy for the U.S. presidential elections 2024. DeSantis made the announcement through a campaign video ahead of joining Twitter CEO Elon Musk on the social media platform. Originally, the ex-naval officer was to announce his candidacy on the Twitter spaces. However, owing to an unprecedented traffic of people joining in, the social media platform crashed several times before he or Musk could even speak. According to reports, Twitter users faced disappointing complications as DeSantis joined in. More than 250,000 eager listeners joined the social media platform to listen to the Trump's strongest challenger yet. Experts feel that the crash could have seriously affected the tone of DeSantis' presidential campaign. With some Twitter users even commenting that DeSantis' whole campaign is going to be like this 10-minute confused session on Twitter spaces. Meanwhile, in his video campaign, DeSantis says that he is running for the chair to lead America to its greatest comeback. Well, I am running for president of the United States to lead our great American comeback. Look, we know our country's going in the wrong direction. We see it with our eyes and we feel it in our bones. Our southern borders collapse. Drugs are pouring into the country. Our cities are being hollowed out by spiking crime. The federal government's making it harder for the average family to make ends meet and to attain and maintain a middle class lifestyle. And our president, well, he lacks vigor, flounders in the face of our nation's challenges, and he takes his cues from the woke mob. I don't think it has to be this way. American decline is not inevitable. It is a choice. And we should choose a new direction, a path that will lead to American revitalization. Several ads favoring the 44-year-old Florida governor were released before he announced his candidacy. One of them, titled America is Worth the Fight, featured DeSantis as almost America's new age savior. While there were some ads that clearly opposed his bid for the presidential chair. Former U.S. President Donald Trump took to social media and rather took a jibe at his biggest Republican competitor for the much-coveted U.S. presidential polls. Reports suggest that Trump's popularity ratings at this stage are double than those of Ron DeSantis's. In his bid towards presidency, the Florida governor is getting support from a prominent Republican financier and one-time backer of former President Donald Trump, Hal Lambert. Lambert served on Trump's inaugural committee in 2016. He says it's time for the Republicans to turn the page on the 76-year-old former president and go for the 44-year-old DeSantis. Meanwhile, DeSantis is long viewed as the most viable challenger to twice impeached Trump. DeSantis is better known than most of the hopefuls in the chasing pack for the Republican nomination. However, he still lacks the front-runner's national profile. If he wins the nomination, he will gain the attention of a chunk of younger, less conservative voters that he will likely need for a shot at the White House. For more on this, we were earlier joined by Mark Mirowitz, who is a political commentator. This is what he had to say. Listen in. I don't see tectonic shift now at this point. Maybe before the Twitter launch, there was a, some kind of a shift or an indication. Yes, there are people out there like Hal Lambert that might be switching to DeSantis. DeSantis is a very prominent politician. But the way it is looking right now is I don't think a donor makes a difference under these circumstances. The key is to be able for a Florida politician to launch a national campaign. And who is Ron DeSantis? What has he done in Florida? Well, he took on Disney. And keep that in mind, too, in the Republican Party, whether here's a candidate who has had a struggle, a conflict with an American corporation, and not just any American corporation, the American corporation that is Walt Disney, it, 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 Donald Duck, and, and Mickey Mouse. This is as American as an apple pie, and DeSantis is attacking them. So uh, does corporate America, the donors you're talking about, are they keen on the idea that this is a presidential candidate who has tussles with corporations? I'm pretty sure that maybe Hal Lambert right now is an outlier. And after all of that, I'm not so sure that this is a rocket trajectory for DeSantis, especially after this Twitter launch, which was about 20 minutes, much of which was empty noise and people mumbling. This was utterly embarrassing uh, for a presidential launch. And I think it really hurt DeSantis a lot in terms of his prospects.